Silence! Idle chatter is not permitted in the Divination Commission. Master Diviner! You're awake! Or perhaps we should call you Caroloom! It doesn't matter what you call me. I am the master of the Divination Commission. The current divination has reached a delicate stage, and no one is permitted to disturb it. Not even a judge of the Ten Lords Commission, or a guest from the Astral Express! Ching Chue! I have grown weary of your insubordination! Are you the one who brought these outsiders into the Commission? Have you turned a deaf ear to all the rules I've laid down? Ching Chue, you are hereby expelled from the Commission! I... Th that's... Turn! Now we're down one person! A great idea! <laughs> My days here really have been unproductive. Loafing around outside and playing Celestial Jade. All while taking a Divination Commission salary. It's... How to put it? Sure sounds like it. I could only dream of having a cozy job like that. I would call it... wasting my life away. Thank you, Master Diviner, for giving me the push I needed. Since you feel that my skills could be put to better use elsewhere, it's time for me to think about making some changes. But before I leave, I have to help these guests take care of some trouble here at the Commission. If I don't, people will think I was fired because of cowardice in the face of danger. That wasn't... This is the other solution. The alternative choice. I created a new solution. Master Diviner, you're not the only one who can design a puzzle. And I don't tread the path of destiny alone. <laughs> you think that by calling on your companions for help, you created a new path out of thin air? You're just playing with semantics. I could weave a thousand routes for you, but they lead to the same destination. So what significance is there in having a choice? Creatures like you don't understand humans. The universe is like jade tiles on a game table. When the tiles are shuffled, the outcome is already predetermined. Which tiles can be played? Which tiles are left over? What kind of hand the person next to you is trying to make? All of these can be determined through calculations. But if everything is just a calculation, the game loses its flavor. Randomness and adaptability, ambushing your opponent, twists and turns, the balance of the elements. It's a mix of calculations, unknowns, and loss of complete control that makes Celestial Jade the kind of game it is. And those are the same things that give life its color and vibrance. Do my choices at the game table mean nothing if I have a sure loss in front of me? No! The choices are what make the game meaningful in the first place. Even if I lose, I'll still make choices to lighten the loss. Just like the Master Diviner is making choices for her own agenda. You were right when you said that as Master Diviner, you must comb through the complex threads of destiny day after day, all for the preservation of this giant ship. In this vast universe, a game where there are only losers. Our Master Diviner is making endless choices, fighting against the odds just so the Lawful can travel safely for another day. <laughs> In my book, she's the best player there is. 
why would someone as talented as the Master Diviner go through the trouble of making endless choices if the end result is predetermined? Heliobus, you cannot fathom the joys of humanity. You are imprisoned by the illusion of destiny, unable to free yourself. And you want everyone who peeks into the future to suffer the same pain as you. You don't understand humans at all. Don't let them trick you, Fu Xuan! Don't push me away! Don't let her work fool you! Kiriloom, release the Master Diviner! I see through your trickery! I see through every bit of it! I'm going to lose victory! <laughs> this is beyond my reach! Why? Why is there no alternative? Everything in this universe is predetermined. No, I... I have no path to victory. Master Diviner! Are you alright? Uh, I... I'm fine. Just a small headache, nothing more. It's normal to experience some discomfort after being possessed by a Heliobus, but nothing a few medicinal pellets can't take care of. Uh, is that... Carolum? <laughs> they may not be the most powerful fragment, but becoming entangled in their illusion can lead to endless despair. Hurry! Just hurry up and... see me in the darkness. I've foreseen what happens next. You're going to imprison me. Xingjue, thanks to you, the Divination Commission is safe again. No need to thank me, Master Diviner. By the way, while you were possessed, you fired me from the Commission. So... that counts, right? I'll have to ask you to give me written notice that my contract has been unilaterally terminated. Then, with all the years I've spent in the Divination Commission, I'll be able to get a great severance package! And I already planned what to do with all the money. I'm gonna open a gaming parlor, hire a couple of workers to run it, and spend the rest of my days living off the profits. I'll have started a new life without having lifted a finger. <laughs> Are there two Ching Chues? Uh, I see. <clears throat> what a pity. I don't recall anything I may or may not have said while possessed by the Heliobus. In any case, Ching Chue, why are you still here? Shouldn't you be on duty back at the repository? Huh? M Master Diviner, you can't back out now! Of course I can. After all, there are always choices in life. You taught me that. <sighs> I can't convince real you, let alone possessed you. Master Diviner, you should get some rest. I'm gonna go take a br- I mean, get back to work. My actions today brought great shame on the Divination Commission. Hmm. I shall have to think of a way to keep her from talking. <laughs> Just kidding. Heliobi are good at finding people's weaknesses and exploiting them. Everyone has some kind of weakness. You're not to blame. That's right. You were just a victim of the Heliobus's trickery, Diviner Fu. No need to blame yourself. I must express my sincere gratitude to all of you for your help. Apologies, but the Divination Commission is in disarray at the moment. I must return and set things in order. I'm afraid I cannot see you off in person. Wait! There's something we need to ask you. What is it? Mm, 
I agree that the Master Diviner gets possessed wouldn't make for a good headline. I don't care how you spin the story, so long as you leave my name and identity out of it. I have many things to attend to. Please allow me to save my thanks for another day. We won't delay you any longer! We need to go to Fictional Garden and seal Karaluma away! <laughs>